Senators are deciding right now on how some tax tourist dollars will be spent. Building a new Major League Baseball stadium in Orange County is one of the major projects that they are considering. Quest 2's Bob Hazen joins us live. And Bob, uh, the group trying to get that baseball team says they need about a billion dollars to make it happen. Yeah, that's right. They've been making their case deck back here this morning, and they say this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to get Major League Baseball here in Central Florida. Now, this is the group calling itself the Orlando Dreamers, and they showed off the designs that they have for the new Dome Stadium they want to get off of International Drive right next to Aquatica. It would cost a total of $1.7 billion, hold 45,000 people, have a separate space that could hold concerts and a baseball museum. The Dreamers are asking the tourist development Development Tax Citizens Advisory Task Force to set aside $975 million for that project. Now, the reason they say this is the last chance is that Major League Baseball is planning to expand by two teams in the coming years, and after that, it won't expand for decades. So they are hoping to convince MLB to give us here in Central Florida one of those franchises, or they're hoping to lure the Rays to come to Orlando if the team can't work out a new deal for a stadium with St. Pete. And the Rays know that if uh, things don't work out over yonder, uh, we're, we're here waiting for them. Uh, they have a wonderful ball club. We know that, even though they lost last night 20 to 1, but that's beside the point. <laughs> so so and, would you say we're in the batter's box then? We're absolutely in the batter's box. Now, there are a lot of other projects also trying to get a chunk of that tourist tax develop, uh, development money. So right now, it's not clear whether or not the Orange County leaders will go in with the Dreamers on this ballpark plan. Again, this is something that's going to be taking a lot of time. They have four more meetings for this task force before they make their final recommendations to Orange County leaders about whether they should get that funding or not. Reporting live in downtown Orlando, Bob Hazen, West 2 News.